welcome everybody to day four. Okay, we're gonna take it across. It is the 16th, can you believe it? All right, today's workout, we are doing a toned and slender arms workout. So we're gonna move this all the way over to the 16th. It's kind of fun that we get to open up an advent calendar together. Uh, all right, so at the end of this, we're gonna be giving away another amazing prize, but not before we get an amazing arm workout in. So first part of the workout, we're not gonna use any weights. We are gonna add them in, so if you've got water bottles, great. If you're like, I don't even have water bottles, I have nothing, Rebecca. It's okay, you can still do this workout. All right, how's everybody feeling? I want to know, okay, was that the hardest question you've ever had to be asked yesterday? Having to choose between Alfie and Penny, which is why today they're both with us in their Alfie and Penny little little jackets. You look great, guys. You guys are going to be in charge of the music. All right, here we go. Well done, Penny. Well done, Alfie. They're both here, right here. Okay, who have we got? Who have we got? Yay! Claudia says both Alfie and Penny are there. Yes, they are. Let's do this, everybody. All right. Who is ready to do this? Okay, people's abs are really hurting from the whole week because yes, we absolutely crushed it. So say your name, say everything, we're who you are so that we know who's on the line. If you don't comment, we don't know. All right, we're gonna take these arms out to the side and we're gonna do some little arm pulses. But we're, first of all, we're just gonna slow it up and down. Now, bring your feet a little bit wider than hip with distance apart. Let's take a nice inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, give yourself a nice little smile. Yes, we've got to get ourselves into a state where we are ready to own this workout, where we are ready to say, you know what? No matter what tries to throw us off for the next 30 minutes, I am going to keep on going. I'm going to stay in the zone. I'm going to give 20%, just 20% more every single time. Okay, 20%, 20%. Now bring these arms forward. We're kind of just flying. That's it, opening up that chest, lifting up, and then tucking the hip underneath, and give yourself a nice little smile, right? Give yourself that smile to say, I showed up today, I'm here. Yes, I'm here, I'm alive, I made it to the workout. Brilliant. Lifting up, Ooh, nice little stretch. Three, two, one. Hold it right out here, hold. Bring those legs a little bit wider. Take a nice inhale through your nose. Think of something that you're grateful for, that you're here today. Ah, exhale everything out, little pulses up and down. Woo, here we go. So we're gonna work the arms today, but it's also gonna work the shoulders, we're gonna work the back, a little bit of chest as well, so you are gonna get a full upper body workout. Okay, here we go. And just smile. Maybe just put your hips out to side to side. Let's move this a little quicker. All right, when we're dancing, it makes us feel good. So let's change our state and say that we are gonna give it absolutely everything that we've got today. Bring those arms in the air, give yourself a yes. Here we go, all right, we're ready. We're in our peak state. So we're gonna bring those arms back out to the side. We're gonna take it into little slow circles, really slow. Now tuck those hips underneath, push those heels down to the ground and stand up nice and tall. Own it, right? It's like owning your life. How do you own your life? You do it by being strong, and by stepping into your greatness. So I want you to think about workouts as being the same, okay? So stepping into that. If you have to make a move right now to lift up that chest, to just kind of get into the zone. That's what I want you to do. Get into the zone. And when you are powerful in your workouts, you're gonna remember that feeling in your real world, in your real life, and you're gonna be powerful in that too. So how do you stand right here? How are you gonna stand in life? Let's take it going forwards. I don't know about you, but my arms are already burning. I think it was those planks that we did yesterday. So think about this, it's really slow. Extend those arms nice and long. Bring those chests up and the shoulders down. Here we go, breathe, nice and slow. Woo. Now, let's try and take it a little bit bigger. Penny, where are you going? Sit down. Where are you going? She has decided she's going off and she's gone. All right, take it a little bit bigger. Really working the shoulders this time. A little bit more of the back is being engaged. Tucking those hips underneath and lifting up. That's it. All right, we'll get Penny back, don't worry. I don't know why she's slacking. Here we go. Now, take those circles going forwards. Forwards, making it a little bit bigger than we did. Can you start to feel the top part of your arm is on fire? Oh, yes. Come on, you've got to stay with me. 
your results are going to be at the end of the workout every single time all you have to do is keep on completing it so every single day on the app right we have a new 28 minute workout with a warm up and cool down with a calendar that tracks all of your progress so all you have to do is just keep showing up show up press play do the workout you're going to get your 30 minutes of exercise in that you need daily and then also you're just going to stay on track lift those arms out now bring it in and extend nice and smooth in control i are just flying through it that's it extend out i don't know about you but the top part of my shoulders are on fire amazing we don't even need weights right here now bring those elbows in towards your waist and let's lift all the way up here we go oh, come on keep going now try and squeeze that back together little pulses right here isn't it amazing how we're not even using weights or bands right now just got our own body all right let's see if we where's penny let's see if we can get penny back all right little squeezes that's it come on bring that chest lifted up squeeze those elbows in towards your waist and breathe here we go Woo. all right come here penny in you get good girl sit down and squeeze <laughs> Here we go, come on, keep it going. Little squeezes right here. Now take it back out and in. Can you feel the top part of your arm should be on fire? Good girl, Penny, good girl. In and out, you're gonna sit on Alfie's head right now. <laughs> come on, keep it going. Just keep thinking, can I do one more? Give me 20% extra, breathe. Three, two, one, hold it out, hold it out. Hold those arms up, hold, 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 hold. Breathe and release. OMG, this part of my arm was on fire. If you guys feel warm, let me know. Alfie, um, I know Penny's gonna kind of sit on your head. Here we go, sit here. Let's move up a little bit, that's it, I know. Don't growl, I know, I know. There you go, now you're gonna lie down there. There's a good girl. All right, I feel like where did you guys feel it? If you felt it right here, let me know, because that's exactly where I felt it. Okay, let me know where you find it. I'm glad you like the outfits for the dogs. Yes, we got special dressed up today in their Alfie and Penny outfit. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep this momentum going. So now we're gonna bring those arms in right here. We're gonna take it all the way out. So you bring it in to that 90 degrees right here. We're gonna take it into a little couple of pulses, and then we're gonna take it all the way out and extend out. Here we go. Pull that core in nice and tight, and let's go. Little pulse at the top, little pulse right here. So use the back, use the shoulders, use the arms. Pull that core in nice and tight. Take it all the way out, little pulse out to the back. Now hold right here, little pulses, that's it. Squeeze. Lifting that chest up, pulling the belly button in, and the ribs are down. Otherwise, your ribs and your back is arched. So you want to think about pulling that core in nice and tight, and then just taking it up and down. Palms are facing to each other. Had to keep those elbows lifted and squeeze. Come on, keep it going. You can do this. Three, two, one. Now take it all the way to the back. Little pulses right out to the back. Okay, I see some fire emojis coming in. I'm guessing that you guys felt it too. Okay, little pulses. Now palms are facing up. Think about squeezing the back together. Squeeze those arms. That's it, breathe. Inhale through your nose. Exhale everything out. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way back up, little pulse. Take it all the way out to the back and pulse. Here we go. Core is in, engage, ribs are down. And we are just flying through this workout. Here we go. All right, take it out to the back. Pulse is out, pulse it back. Lifting that chest up nice and high. Pulling that core in, ribs are down. Palms facing up, listen for the change. Three, two, one. Palms facing together, little squeezes right here. Start to feel the inside of your arms getting on fire too. Here we go, those inside arms. All right, top part of the bicep was also engaged. Squeeze, and here we go, come on. Whew. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one, hold here. Now, imagine that you're holding a ball and you're gonna pulse it up and down. Pulse it up and down, pull the core in nice and tight. You're gonna to start to feel it in the top part of your shoulders and those biceps. Here we go, little pulses up and down. As if you're holding that ball nice and tight. Come on, keep going. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Right, lift those arms up a little bit more. Get higher. And then faster pulses. Here we go, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way through. Woo! Oh yes, little pulse up. Palms facing each other, and then palms facing up to the sky. That's it. Pulling that core in, out to the back. Yes, come on. We can do this. Keep going. Keep your body engaged. Keep those feet nice and flat on the ground. Give yourself a little pulse and breathe through. We're gonna have a little break just after this, but keep going. Lifting out to the back. Little pulse right here. Now hold it out to the back. You're gonna extend up one arm up at a time. Squeeze in those biceps. Woo, can you feel it working? Come on. Pull that core in. Last part. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, shake it out, shake it out. Take a sip of water, my goodness. My hand just didn't even work there. It just went straight into the pine cone. Oh dear, Alfie Penny. Thank you, Alfie, for joining us today. You, if you guys watched yesterday, you would see that Alfie got out of bed the last five minutes of the workout. You actually saw him come down the stairs, didn't he? Alfie's not really a, much of a morning person. You'll get up with me. Okay, how's everybody doing? Wow. All right, here we go, Maggie. She's just got here. Heather, Steph, let's go, everybody. You can feel it in the back. My arms are dead. Same place as yours. Okay, good. Yes, I felt it right here. You felt it right here. That's where I felt it. All right. Okay. Grab your weights. If you don't have weights, grab your water bottle. Okay, something. We're going to come up here. We're going to do a little bit of work on the bicep. So right here. Very simple bicep curl to get us started. So you're gonna bring those palms facing towards me, and we're gonna take it all the way out to the top. So all the way here, and then nice and slow and controlled down. Now pull that core in nice and tight, and extend, almost like you're gonna tap those shoulders, but you don't need to. And then keeping those elbows in, bring it all the way down, that's it. Give me three more, just like this. Now I'm using five pounds here, but you can really use eight pounds. So you can use eight pounds here, maybe even 10. Okay, take it all the way down. All right, give me one more, all the way up, and then take it down halfway. Now you're just gonna come up and down with the right one. The left one is gonna stay in that static hold. You're gonna tuck those hips underneath, pull the belly button in, ribs are down, stand up nice and tall, that's it. Now we're gonna burn it. We got this whole song just to do biceps. Love it, right? Getting those arms nice and toned. All right, we're gonna work the triceps and the biceps. Really, and it's the top part of the shoulder where you really start to see that definition. Not really much that we need to do with the forearms. Okay, take it over to the other side. Now hold this one straight out at 90 degrees. The other one meets it right here. Pull that core in, lifting that chest up. Shoulders are down. Okay, here we go. Now how are we feeling today? How's everybody doing, right? We're on day four. We're going all the way to day 12. We're gonna do this together, right? It's a family event, it's a friends event. It's something that we get to share together to do in this experience, right? It's what a life is all about. How many experiences are you having, right? What was the thing that you did in 2018 that you can say, that was what I did, right? And if you are gonna be part of our year next year, 2021, we've got so much stuff for you, so just keep hanging around. We need you here. We need you here. I'm speaking to you right there. Pulses, we need you. So if you're feeling like you're having a tough day or it's struggling, just remember, we need you. So stay around, stay close to the fire. Always important to stay close to the fire of what's moving. Here we go, we got you people. Here we go, little pulses. Now try not to move the top part of your body. All you're doing is you're moving those forearms up and down, little pulses. Come on, stay strong, stay in the game. Get those biceps on fire. Here we go. Now you're gonna take it all the way up, back to halfway. All the way up and squeeze. Core in, engaged, smile. You made it, it's okay. If you're a little bit late, no problem. Just join in wherever you're at. Come on, all the way down. Lift up. Woo. Get those biceps on fire. Here we go, breathe. Three, two, one, hold right here. Isometric hold, stand up nice and tall. Feel those biceps on fire. Here we go. Take a nice big breath in, <sighs> exhale, and release. Okay, quick little break, and then we're gonna take it straight back into those biceps again, right? We're gonna take it into biceps and then into triceps. So really, when we're doing an arm workout, right, 
We're, maybe we're going to do a little bit of the trial, the forearm, but mainly what we're going to be building to get nice slender arms is the bicep here and the tricep behind. And then actually this part, as this is the part, if you're wearing a tank top, it's the first bit you see. So that's why we did lots of stuff on this part. So I hope that you felt that part. Okay, there's a little anatomy lesson for you. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, Kim just dropping in to say hi. I love this. I love that so many of you guys are like, I can't do it live, but I wanted to come and say hi. That's amazing, right? That's the community that we've got. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do biceps and triceps, but let's stay with those biceps for just a, a second. We're gonna take it across the body. So get a nice lunge in there too. You can use this weight as resistance right here. And we're gonna take it across the body. So you're gonna extend that arm all the way down, and then you're gonna bring it into about 90 degrees. So take it down and right here. We're not gonna take it all the way up. There we go, just like that, that's it. Now think about your ma arm moving and you're using your bicep to lift up your forearm. You've got to really think about it. Some, sometimes, they, when, especially when we're working our glutes, right? We want to really work a particular muscle. We're going to start to send signals from our brain to our muscle to say, hey, bicep, I want you to work to lift up my forearm. Here we go. Everything else is keeping nice and straight. Now take a little look at that arm. How's it looking? Are we looking toned? Are we getting there? Are we making improvements? That's the most important thing, right? Are we in a different position than we are maybe this time last year? And maybe not, right? But do you want to be in a different position this time next year? That's what it's all about. Okay, now you're going to take it all the way up to the top and all the way down. So full range of motion. Breathe. Here we go. Come on, extend up to the top and take it down. Here we go. Three, two, and one, let's take it over to the other side. So halfway and extend nice and long. That's it, use that bicep muscle. Now, if you're finding that this isn't really that hard, it's not that difficult, guess what? You just gotta increase your weights. The last two reps of our set should be really challenging for you. Here we go. Halfway and then extend down. Think about that bicep muscle using again. Here we go, all the way down and extend. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Now this time you're gonna take it all the way up. So up to the top, take it all the way down. That's it, smooth and controlled. See the top part of the arm isn't really moving much, right? We're keeping that nice and still and we're using that bicep muscle to lift up that weight. Here we go, come on. You can do this, almost there. Three, two, and one. Bring it all the way down, nice and slow. Just like that. All right, we're gonna go into some tricep stuff. We're gonna come down onto the ground and do these tricep stuff, so, okay. All right, how's everybody feeling over here? How's everybody doing? Let's see, let's move this along a little bit. There we go. Are coming true, that's what... All right, we're gonna bring this weight over the top. So this is where we work the triceps. Oh yes, that's that bingo wing area, okay? Here we go, what sum have we got? Let's see what we got going on. Here we go, this is a good one. All right, you're gonna bring those arms up over the top of your head. Now really important here that you're not arching your back. You wanna pull the core underneath. Okay, so right here. Pull that core underneath. Now take it nice and slow and lift all the way up to the top. Bring it all the way down and extend. Here we go. That's it, just take it nice and slow. No need to go really fast right here. Take it all the way down. Now hold it right here. You're gonna pulse, little pulses. Really guys, I want you to be using like eight to 10 pounds here. Okay, little pulses. Now tuck that chin in, pull the core in nice and tight and keep going, little pulses. Now, maybe if you've got a five pound weight, you wanna add both of those weights in one hand. Maybe you've got two pounds, definitely need to use, okay, both of those weights. Here we go, so little pulses just right here. Now, just breathe, we're gonna get through this. It's gonna be quite a burner for these triceps, okay? But just stay with me. We gotta go through the song. Every single rep is counting towards those goals. So just stay with me. Come on, we can do this. Little pulses right out the back. Now, try and keep those elbows now a little bit wider. Bring them wider, but be careful not to arch your back at the same time. <laughs> How are we feeling? Starting to burn. Yes. Now, take it all the way up to the top. 
take it all the way down. Extend, you're gonna to start to feel this, will feel this a little bit in your forearms too. Here we go, lift up. So toning that part of the arm as well. Lift up and all the way down. Full range of extension, push those arms up nice and high and take it all the way down. Here we go, extend. Core in nice and tight. It's actually gonna work your core a little bit more in this position. Lift up and take it down. Now hold it up at the top. Hold right here, push those arms up a little bit higher. Pull that core in nice and tight and little pulses at the top. Oh yes, woo, come on, here we go. Yes, how's it feel? Feels good, right? We want the burn, we want it. Now those forearms are on fire. Yes, come on, here we go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up at the top, shoot those arms up nice and high. Now take it all the way down to the back. Hold right here, hold. Now give me a couple of little pulses at the bottom. Core's engaged. Come on, pull that belly button in. Now, push those elbows out to the side. More out, so they're not in right here, they're out. Yes, I know it's burning. I am on fire. Here we go, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold right here. Hold, take a breath in. <sighs> Extend those arms all the way up to the top. Take it down for 10, nine, eight, Come on, seven, six, five, four, keep going, three, two, one, hold up at the top, hold, hold, right here, now take it a little bit quicker, up and down, bigger pulses, come on, ten, breathe, keep squeezing, elbows out to the side, I know it's on fire, come on, we can do this, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up at the top, Hold it up, push those arms up nice and high. Come on, stay in the game, you can do this. Now bring those elbows out right here, out to the side and tap, little pulses. Elbows out, three, two, one and release. Oh my goodness me, how are your arms feeling? All right, how are they feeling? We're gonna pop those weights down to the side, we're gonna pick them back up in a little bit. Woo, then we might not be able to open up your to, to do your hair tomorrow. Okay, take a sip of water. <laughs> oh, wow, wowza, wowza, my arms are like jelly. How are your arms feeling after that one? Okay. That was a serious, that was a serious tricep one. Okay, how are you guys feeling? The bingo wing is a real thing, it says Crystal. Okay, I actually got my tooth fixed yesterday, so if I'm saying things a little bit wrong, I'm still getting used to having a tooth that's actually bigger in my mouth. Okay. How are you guys? R.I.P. triceps. <laughs> okay, we're gonna bring those arms out right here. We're gonna take them in and out. The thing about it being like nice and slow and controlled, and we're just gonna breathe through it. Here we go. Out to the side and in. Whew. Oh my goodness, yes, those triceps are on fire. All right, we're gonna hold right here. We're gonna take it down and extend up. So work in the shoulders and the back here. All right, but that top part of the arm, right there. Okay, I think this is probably one of the best arm workouts that we've done. Okay, we just keep on going. Pull that core in and out and down. Three, two, one. Now hold here, little circles. Nice and slow and controlled. That's all we're looking for, right? Bring those shoulders down, chest is lifted, pull that core in nice and tight, and little pulses, little pulses up and down. Here we go. Try now, try and keep those arms at 90 degrees. We don't wanna bring them in right here. We wanna keep them up. All right, you're like, yeah, you're like raving at a club, you're like, whoop, whoop. That's it, that's exactly what we're doing. All right, now take those circles going backwards. That's it, keeping those elbows lifted though. Almost think about the circle being above that line of 90 degrees and bring the shoulders down and give yourself a smile. Here we go, come on, keep it up. Keep those elbows lifted, I know it's painful. I know it's gonna start to really burn, but this is what we're doing. It's that, that's why you have to keep going to the end of the exercise because that's where you start to really see the results. Now, little pulses right here. As if you're like dancing through. Yeah, just pretend you're like raving. You're like, whoop, whoop. That's it. You're going to start to feel it right here. That's it. Getting that part of the muscle toned. Little pulses. 
Okay, come to a still position. And just breathe, smile, and pulse. Here we go. Come on, let's keep it up. Little tiny pulses. Three, two, one, keep them up. Hold, hold. You're gonna take it back and forwards. Oh yes, yeah. so think about going back, not to arch your back, right? So everything else is keeping nice and still. It's just the top part of your arms that are moving. Take it back and lift up. Whoo! So you're coming back to that normal 90 degree and then you're taking it out to the back. It's gonna make that shoulder absolutely pop, get on fire. Last part, three, two, one. Hold right here, hold. Keep those elbows lifted. Come on, don't drop them down for three, two, one, and release. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All righty, we're gonna come down to the ground. I think that's what we're gonna do. Is that what we're gonna do, Penny? Alfie, you guys have been so good. I told you they love this pillow and they will sit next to each other because they're like, the pillow is what it's all about. Isn't it, Penny? Penny, is the pillow what it's all about? Okay, we got one more track. I vote for the Alfie Penny workout. Love it. <laughs> that's all right, you started off lace with 10 pounds. You have to drop to five, but that's pretty impressive, okay? We're gonna take it to some fun little rows. Okay, so you're gonna bring your weight or cans of food or whatever you have right under here, and we're gonna pull that weight in and squeeze. So if you wanna have that weight in the other hand, you can, or you can have a flat hand, or you can have it into a fist, whatever feels good. And all you're gonna do is pull up and squeeze. Oh yeah. Now lean forward just slightly, and think about this part of your muscle, right, right here, this part of the arm, lifting your arm up. It's not coming up with your hand. You're thinking pull, that's it. So think about that muscle lifting up the weight. It's the only thing that's lifting it up. It's not your hand. And then we're gonna really target that muscle. Here we go, pull. All right, squeeze. Now hold it up right here. Give me a couple of pulses at the top. We got this, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Give me one more set, squeeze, down. Try not to tap the weight on the ground. Keep that resistance the whole time. That's it, core in nice. And engaged, three, two, using that arm, hold right here, pulse it out for 10. That's it, bring that elbow up a little bit higher. Here we go, use it for five, four, three, two, one. Give me one more time, up, down, and pulse it out for 10. Here we go, come on, bring that elbow up even higher. We got this, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Switch over to the other side. Bring that weight and up we go. Again, using the top part of the arm to lift up and squeeze. We are not thinking about the hand lifting up the weight. We are thinking about the top part of the arm. And lean forward just slightly. You'll find it, you'll just feel it a little bit more in the top part of the arm. Okay, now holding up at the top, we're gonna take it into pulses, little pulses. Come on, here you go. You got this, breathe. Bring that elbow up higher, keeping those hips facing down towards the ground. Three, two, one, and take it all the way down, full extension. Tap and extend. So almost try not to get the weight to touch the ground. Here we go. Come on, to the music, dancing with it. Bring that elbow up nice and tight. Give me another rep. Here we go, 10 seconds. Bring that elbow up just a little bit higher with all the way, trying to keep both of your hips facing down towards the ground and the shoulders. Here we go. Now, give me another one. All the way, squeeze. Squeeze it in. Breathe. Pull that core in nice and tight. Lift that elbow up. We're gonna take it for one more set. In three, two, one. Hold it up. Come on, last reps. Really pull that elbow up. Lean forward just a little bit more. Feel the difference when you lean forward. Here we go, we've got this for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, we're gonna to take to alternating. So squeeze and squeeze, that's it. Bring that elbow up nice and high. Here we go, last part. Three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, yes. 
Okay, we can do one more track. Why I share with you guys what is happening this week. What would you like to do? Would you like to dance it out? Would you like to do some more arms? Would you like to do some abs? Whatever it is, we've got one more track to go. So you guys let me know what it is that you want to do. And then we are going to announce the winner of yesterday. So yesterday was, what did we give away yesterday? We gave away a $50 voucher for you and your friend to spend in our store. So workout apparel, our yoga mats, resistance bands, we've got loads of fun stuff in the store. So I'm going to be announcing that winner after we've done our last exercise. And then I'm going to be announcing ooh, our next prize. Oh yes, this one's a good one. You're going to love this one. Okay. So, so, oh my goodness, we're getting all sorts of different things in here right now. We've got dancing, we've got back, we've got abs. Getting a lot of snow, uh, ready? Abs, glutes, abs, please. My abs are on fire, abs. No more arms. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay. we got some dance. we got some dancing abs. Okay, we'll do like a dancing ab one. I like that. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Stand up. Stand up. Whoo! Okay. We're gonna do a dancey ab one. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so shake it out. So we're gonna come down to that curtsy, do a little pulse, first of all. A little pulsing out to the side. Let's get that heart rate up. That's it. Okay, here we go, we got this. Three, two, one. Now take it over here and now hold. Just hold right here, hold. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring those hands out here. You're gonna extend that leg up and then take it down. So we're working that core right here. So extend and bring it down. Push down into that leg and then all the way through. That's it. Bringing those arms out to the side is gonna make it a bit more challenging. Or you can bring your hands right here. Here we go. Now lift up and take it down. Lift and extend. Bring those arms out, test it. Now, can you crunch it at the same time? Oh yes, so crunch. Take it down, crunch it out. Here we go, three, two, one. Take it down, pulse. Get that booty engaged. All right, take it up to the other side. You're gonna take it down and extend that leg. Here we go. Push down into that leg and then take it all the way down. Here we go, lifting up through the chest. You're looking good, everybody. Woo. Breathe, inhale through your nose. Exhale everything out as you extend that leg nice and long. Push down into the foot, and three, two, one, add the crunch. Oh yes, here we go. Now push down onto that supporting leg, really lift up through your chest. Here we go. Let's go for three, and two. Give me one more, and crunch. Now come to the center, and jump it out. Bring those arms up to the sky. Woo. Here we go, lift them up. Three, two, one. Take it up, take it in. Oh, yes, it feels good to get your heart rate up a little bit, right? Up and extend. Bring those arms in towards your waist. Just a little bit more arms, why not? Here we go. Let's end it on a high. Have some fun with it. Okay, take it across your body. Extend those arms out nice and long and pull that core in towards your chest. Extend and breathe. Oh, I'm getting a bit out of breath. Here we go. Take it out. Five, four, three, two, one. And over to the other side. Here we go. That's it. Core is engaged. Crunch it. Three, two, and one. Take it out, Alfie. Where are you going? Jog it out from side to side. Here we go. Woo! Bring those arms up to the sky. Yes, keep your body moving, even if you're just stepping side to side. Arms are lifted, dance it out. Maybe bring your leg up and boom. Yes, indeed. Okay, come down to the ground. Take a sip of water. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope that was okay thing to end with. Let's just stretch it out a little bit. Take that arm across your body and feel that stretch. Oh my goodness. And we just get the heart rate up right there. Take it across the other side. Oh, okay, are you ready for the winner for yesterday? Alfie, where's he gone? Where's he gone, Penny? 
Lifting up through the chest. Where's he gone? Where's Alfie? Got no idea. Okay. Lifting up. Bring those arms up over the top of your head. Tugging those hips underneath. Lift up and take it over. Feel that stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Come all the way back to the center. Lift up and take it over. Here we go. Release those arms. Maybe just rotate those shoulders. Whatever feels good. Remember, we've got loads and loads of cool down videos specifically for upper body on the app. So make sure that you check out the BTES app. And then, oh, I was about to say, can we have a drum roll? You're going to stay here, Penny? We're about to have a drum roll. And then somebody's already done the drum roll. Yes, drum roll, drum roll. I want to see where Alfie's gone. Alfie, you're going to come back here. I'm just going to get Alfie because you were part of yesterday. You were part of yesterday's one, so you have to come in the video. Here we go. Come on. No slacking today. So, yes, they've, they've got their little shirts on that say, oh, oh, he's got his name on, Alfie. You've got Alfie on there, haven't you? Okay, look, everybody's doing a drum roll. Can you sit down here? That's it, Penny. So, oh, <laughs> the winner of yesterday. I've got to get it up on my phone. Here we go, Alfie. Look, take a look. Who are these people watching you? All right, now my phone has decided that it doesn't want to do this. Okay, here we go. So, the winner. Let's get a drum roll, everybody. And the, these people, they won $50. $50 to our store, okay, to our store so they can spend it on yoga mats, they can spend it on all sorts of things. And all you had to do was tag your friend in my last Instagram post with the reply to the question that was in it. And it was about who did you prefer, Penny or Alfie, right? I know that was a little bit of an unfair question, but Penny or Alfie, and then you and your friend get to win $50 for our store. So, drum roll, let's get the music going, Alfie. Let's get the music going. We're gonna get something. Are you ready? That feels like a bit of a drum roll. Are you ready? Okay, so the winner for day three of our 12 days of giveaway is Ella Bartel. Yes, Ella. Woo, well done. And your friend, Sydney Jordan, is gonna win $50 each to spend in the store. And unfortunately, it does not include Alfie. Huh? Yes, it does not include Alfie. So congratulations, Ella. Super, super proud of you. You tagged me in an Instagram story. You are tagging everything. You were like one of the first people to comment. So appreciate you. And I will be reaching out to you. Just do a little Instagram story. Uh, I'll be reaching out to you to win your prize. So congratulations, Ella. Yeah, if she is on the line, please make yourself known. We want to know where you are, Ella. Where are you, Ella? Yes. Yes, yeah, she's on the line! Woohoo! She's watching! Amazing! Congratulations! Always so fun when you guys are actually on the line and you can hear it live. Isn't that fun, Alfie? Okay, so today, our prize, I'm going to get it ready to post on Instagram. Okay, our prize, I've got to do, tell you what, it's a, it's a, it feels like a lot of responsibility every single time I've got to go on here to do it right. Okay, so today, all you're going to do same thing is go onto my Instagram story on Instagram that I just posted and I did a, I'm doing an ad video. So that's the one that you need to go and comment on. And what you're going to do is you're going to comment on the question that's in there and then tag a friend. Okay, so tag a friend and then every single entry, right, every comment is a different entry. So don't just tag all your friends in one word. We don't all lots of different comments. And then for a bonus entry, you can also tag me on your Instagram stories, all right? That really, really does help, okay. All right, so I'm about to post it right now. So let's get this going. I'm gonna post it. And what you're gonna win this time is a full year's subscription to the BTES app as a pro member, which is worth like a hundred bucks. So you and your friend gonna get to win a full year subscription to the BTES app. Oh yes, so that you'll get the full pro version. You're gonna get it for a complete year so that you know that you are already set up 
for 2021. So that is what we're giving away on day four. Alfie, you want to sit there? That's it, absolutely. So that's what we're giving away. So all you guys have to do right now is head on over to my Instagram right now. So do this right now and then take a little selfie. Maybe if you want to get a selfie with Alfie and I, we can add us into that as well. <laughs> but let's see, how's everybody doing? Yay, so how do you tag someone? You just go to the comments. So you go and comment on my picture and then you do the at sign and then you at one of your friends. It's really, really simple. So that's all you gotta do is you head on over to the comment, you click on the at signal, sign, signal, and then it's actually gonna bring up all the people. Okay, Brenna's commented. Let's see who's commented so far. We've got Mura Baby 27 she's commented. Woohoo, Lindsay. All right, everybody has started to comment. This is amazing. Okay, so what a great prize to win and what a great gift that you can give somebody for Christmas as well. Like, if you're like, hey, I have not done my Christmas shopping this year, you need to get on here every day and try and win something so that we can give your friends and family a gift for Christmas. So I hope that you love this workout. Let me know what you think of it. My arms are absolutely burning. That was fire. Alfie, where do you want to go? You seem to be very, very fidgety all of a sudden. Okay, he's off. And he's off. Penny, where's he going? Where's he going? She just watches him go off. Oh, this is entertaining. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Rachel, for helping. Um, well, if you don't have Instagram, if you don't have Instagram, no problem. You can just do it on Facebook, right? Facebook is absolutely fine. I will find you as long as you tag me. Uh, Rebecca Louise Fitness is my fan page on uh, Facebook. So you can follow me on there. Follow me on Instagram. Tell all your friends so they can come here tomorrow. This is what it's all about, guys. We want to build our community. So going into 2021, we have just got more people that we're helping and changing. Remember, three ways to show up. Number one, you show up with your body in the room. Number two, you show up with your body in the room and your mindset is there too. And number three, you show up, your body's in the room, your mind's there and you're bringing people with you. That is a leader, that is somebody who's having influence and that is someone who's making impact and changing the world. So how many people are you bringing to these workouts each week? How many people are showing up because of you, right? That's what I want to instill in 2021 is like, this is the impact that you get to have. You're going to have somebody message and you say thank you so much for introducing me to this community I was feeling lost I was feeling unsure I didn't know what I was doing but then you introduced me to this there's somebody out there right now in your circle that needs you to keep on showing up and that needs you to keep on sharing the message to help people feel amazing with our workouts okay so it is on us together as a community to help really just bring light and energy and give back to the world so I love you all so much Get ready, we're gonna take it to the 17th tomorrow. All right, day five of our 12 days of giveaway and we're gonna lead you all the way up to Christmas. So we're gonna to get to spend lots of time together. But I love you guys. Uh, amazing workout, everybody. I hope that your arms are feeling a little bit tingly and maybe you won't be able to put your hair up tomorrow, but no problem. It's all good. And I will see you, friends, tomorrow. We love you, say bye, Penny.